Welcome to the Newsnight Labour Leadership Debate. Live. It's the moment the race to replace Ed Miliband left the Westminster Village. These are the four people shortlisted by the Labour Party to be its next Prime Minister, presented to the public for the first time today. Liz Kendall lost no time in distancing herself from previous Labour projects. I think that we do need a fresh start and I don't have the, the baggage of the past, but that's not why I'm putting myself forward to be leader. But the other two a do. Leader, you said you don't have the baggage. Leader, a good leader listens, they build a strong team, they're decisive, and they understand that we have got to move on from the politics of, a, of the comfort zone. I mean, Liz Kendall is saying very clearly then, it can't be you because you've got baggage from what's gone before. Well, I don't think that's quite what Liz was saying, but look... Sounded I quite think, like it. I don't know if the I audience think, would agree. I think the, there is an advantage to having experience, and I certainly make no apology for having run a £100 billion department, and also, perhaps more importantly, for being the minister who was rolling out Sure Start, which I'm really proud of. A dig there at Kendall, who has no front bench experience, from Yvette Cooper, who served in 11 of 13 new Labour years. Andy Burnham also sought to turn experience to advantage. I believe we let the market too far into the National Health Service. I believe in a public NHS that puts people before profits. I've always believed in that, and I put that principle into practice as Health Secretary. I also believe we failed to build enough council housing when we were in government. So what I would say is, let's have the best of new Labour, but the best of old Labour, and create a distinctive Labour offer that deals with the problems of here and now. But throughout the debate, some of the biggest cheers would be for the veteran left winger Jeremy Corbyn. Iraq, still an open wound. This is the elephant that's in this room and everywhere else. Why, oh, why, oh, why did Blair have to get so close to Bush that we ended up in an illegal war in Iraq and we're still paying the price for that? As during the general election, Nicola Sturgeon starred here too, and a sore point for the Labour Party that it's never had a female leader. What qualities do you share with Nicola Sturgeon? which could make you as successful a party leader. The Labour Party, which has campaigned for women's equality for over a century, it would be fantastic for us to smash that final glass ceiling and elect a Labour woman leader of the party and a Labour woman prime minister as well. Andy Burnham gushed about Nicola Sturgeon in ways he wouldn't have done two months ago, using her to demonstrate that while he wasn't a woman, he was a regular Joe. Nicola's a, a plain talker, it seems to me. She speaks in a language that people understand. I hope I can pass that test. But the second thing about her, which is what I am all about as a politician, I think she came into politics because she saw an unfair country where there's a concentration of power in Westminster and elsewhere in the country, people don't get the same opportunities in life. And that's what brought me uh, into politics. For the first time, this leadership contest sees the candidates exposed to disillusioned Labour voters, and they were not all impressed. I used to be a Labour voter. I didn't vote Labour this time because you didn't have a compelling vision. I'm, I, I'm yet to hear it, I'm afraid. The four kept to their tram lines. Burnham believing the last manifesto the best he's ever defended. Cooper a little more critical but still defending Labour governments. Kendall the hard truths candidate and Corbyn criticising from the left. But there were testy exchanges. Is the budget surplus the most important economic objective? Jeremy Corbyn, straight to you, shaking no, your head vigorously. No, it is not the most important thing. The most important thing is to ensure our community has a health service, has an education service, a people are decently housed, and young people have abilities to go into work and develop themselves. Why is it in Britain today, the 100 richest people equal the total wealth of 30% of the population? That is fundamentally wrong. I don't agree with Jeremy on this. People didn't trust us on the economy or with their taxes. And I believe in strong public finances because, you know, unless we balance the books, live within our means and get the deficit and debt down, we can't do all the things that we're passionate about, like tackling inequality or homelessness. Former cabinet ministers Cooper and Burnham, while accepting some criticism, were more defensive on this issue. But then to the last section, reflecting the unease many in Labour feel that this year's winner might not be a winner in 2020. Would you be willing to resign before the next general election if it looks like Labour are not going to win with you as leader. Liz Kendall. Yes, because more than anything, I want Labour to win so we can change the country. Now, I think I'm going to be the Labour leader that the Tories fear, and that's right. But it was Burnham's answer to the final question that provided one of the evening's most telling moments. 
Mr. But to be clear, Andy Burnham, you would support the party having a rule that said in a couple of years, if you win, they could boot you the out if you weren't up to The party already has that rule, uh, Laura. So the debate maybe is, do you make it easier, fewer MPs? Okay. But, but yes, uh, okay. the, the party comes first always. Yvette Cooper. Oh, the country comes first. So Kendall there, explicitly pitching to the country, but experienced still her weakness. Jeremy Corbyn this evening proved his mettle, but didn't pull the hustings to the left either. Yvette Cooper was clear and confident, but on occasion too comfortable. Burnham didn't throw away his lead with the party, but he didn't have an explicit message for the country either. The candidates have now set out their stalls in this first public encounter.